already yeah. bought. Oh. Yeah, already. <laughs> okay, thank you. In 1977, we made the first plans for an overland tour through Africa. 37 years later, the dream became reality. We spent four years on the road, traveling through five continents. Our journey came to a sudden stop in Southeast Asia, due to Corona. We have hit the road again, but nobody knows where and when our voyage will end. In the previous episode, I loaded the camper van in a container in Laem Shabang and saw temples and markets in Bangkok. It's a little bit after 6 in the morning and I am on my way to the Klong Tui market. The Klong Tui wholesale market is a busy market operating between 5 and 9 in the morning. Out early because now it's 10 minutes past 7, the first ones are starting to clean up already.
opposite to the wholesale market is a regular farmer's market. With amazement, I look at the heavy traffic in Bangkok.
special form of public transport is provided by mopeds. Established rates to fixed destinations, mopeds arrive at high speed to transport the first passenger in line. I am here in Kamcheng House, in the middle of Bangkok, not far from my hotel. It's a replica of a house in a northern Thai village. So it's a nice wooden house, hardly anything inside, there's no explanation at all. So it's a bit uh, confusing compared to a similar house I've seen in Kuala Lumpur. This is a lot less. I'm standing in front of the Sri Maha Mariamman temple, a Hindu temple that was built in the 1860s by Tamil immigrants. I escaped from the hectic pace of Bangkok in the Lumpini Park. I wanted to go out for a little boat ride, but when it was time to leave, it was raining terribly. So I decided to stay in the hotel a little bit longer. Now everything is uh, cleared up, so now I'll go out and see if I uh, can get a last impression of the city. <laughs> The boats in Bangkok remain confusing. The first one I get appears not to be a public transport ferry sailing along the river, but a service boat to a hotel. It is free, but the only thing I can do is wait for its return to my starting point. Frequently, tides towing a heavy load of multiple freight ships are passing. I leave the ferry and stop with a good connection for land transport back to my hotel. Thank <laughs> you. 
a very young beggar tries to attract the attention of pedestrians. I would like to check out the six or five. Can you take something from the bar? No. no? Okay, thank you. Very okay, much. thank you very much. Bye bye. This is the last day of our trip. I'm uh, starting on my way to the airport. Good morning. To the airport, please. To the airport. Good five, please. Okay. Yeah. Can you change this to euros? <laughs> In 1981, we also were at this airport. We flew with Bangladesh Biman to Amsterdam. This airline had five jet aircraft at the time. One was under repair and one was needed by the president of Bangladesh for a state visit. This meant a reduction of the fleet by 40%. We sat in uncomfortable plastic seats from 9 p.m. until 3 a.m. due to the late arrival of the aircraft. We had a delay of almost a day in Dhaka. In itself, that wasn't too bad because it gave us a chance to taste a little of Bangladesh. After numerous other problems, including an engine fire warning, we arrived in Amsterdam about a day late. After a smooth and relatively comfortable journey, I am back in the Netherlands. Goodbye. With only hand luggage and a do-it-yourself passport control for EU residents, I quickly get out of the airport. Dutch Railways takes me home before the strike that is announced for tomorrow. Episode 5 of our world trip, a journey of almost 5 months through Southeast Asia, has ended. We have enjoyed culture and nature in a quickly changing part of the world 
and we met many amazing people. We had plans to return over land through South Korea, Japan, Russia, Mongolia and the Stans, but due to Corona and the Russian invasion in Ukraine, this was no longer an option. That is why we decided to ship our camper van back to Europe instead of driving it. We have planned shorter but very interesting trips for the near future, so stay tuned!